Okay, so the staff that we have within the department, um, here's some pictures of everybody. Um, that works within the department. So we've got Chris up in the right hand corner, who's our uh, head of department. We've got Lily in the center up on a mountain. Uh, she's our deputy head of department. And then we've got all the other members of staff. So there's me on the far left. Uh, my background is police. And then you've got Lee up in the left hand corner. Uh, Lee's background is RAF police and civilian police with Wiltshire. Then you've got Ian and Baz, who are RAF backgrounds. Lily's from an academic criminology background. Then you've got Matt, who's got a military background and an outdoorsy background. Uh, and then Sue, a military. Uh, then Chris, who's more sport, but he's our head of department. And then over on the far right, you've got Mel, who is our law lead for our criminology and law course. Um, and that is the team that covers all sites. So Chippenham, Lackham, Trowbridge and Salisbury. Um, and, but we work together and we deliver the same programme. And quite often we will teach across campus too. I'm going to give you a real whistle stop tour because we only have a very short space of time to do this. So I'm going to whistle through all the information. Um, and then if you have any questions, you are more than welcome to type them into the chat pod over on the side of the page or the email address for the public service group will be there at the end of the end of the presentation. And you can send me an email and I will reply to you straight away with any questions that you might have. So please feel free to do that. OK, so the two courses that we've got at uh, all of our campuses for uniform public services is a level two and a level three. So the level two uh, course is one for students who are aiming at threes. So that's D's in the old fashioned GCSE grades. And the level three is a two year course and it's A level equivalent. And that uh, the requirements for that one are uh, C's and above, so fours and above. And that course will give you UCAS points. So you are then able to go on to university should you wish to do so. Um, and we will help you with that process. So we've got quite a few this year going off to uni. We've just done about 24 person statements. So uh, those students will be heading off to do various things, outdoor leadership, criminology, psychology, nursing, all sorts of different things. Um, and then quite a few go into different public services. So these courses are here. Should you not do as well as you're hoping with your GCSEs or should you do better, which I'm sure will be the case, then you can change courses, it's not a problem. Apply for what you're predicted is looking at. Um, and then if you don't do so well or you do better than when we meet you next year, we can go through it with you and make sure that you are on the right course uh, that is uh, good for you. OK, and we will work for you for that. So don't worry, we do have fallbacks and we do have, uh, you know, other options that we can help you with should you not get the grades. OK, so the units that we've got going at the moment. So over on the left hand side of the screen, you've got the two programme. And these are some of the units that you will cover uh, on this course. So we do lots of outdoors. And I know one of the big attractions of our course is all of our outdoors things and all of the trips and visits that we do. Obviously, we're a little bit uh, stuck at the moment because of COVID. But as soon as we get the red, uh, the green light, sorry, we are going to get out and get as many trips and visits in as we possibly can, um, because we feel that that learning experience is enhanced by going out and about and doing all these trips and visits. Um, our students are, are desperate to get out at the moment, and so are we. Uh, so, like I say, as soon as we are allowed to and it's safe to do so, we will get out there. But at the moment, the uh, safety of our students is paramount. So we're kind of uh, doing a lot more indoor units at the moment just to uh, get those done to leave some space at the end of the year. Um, should that be the case next year, then again, we will uh, work with the students and uh, come up with a plan of action. So level three, year one. In the first year, you will study for what we call a 90 credit diploma. So you will have a certificate at the end of year one and you will have covered units such as government policies, uh, where we do a trip to London to the Houses of Parliament. Uh, we do leadership, citizenship. You will go out and about and do some map and nav. We will go on expeditions and I'll talk a little bit about, about that in a minute um, and some major incident planning. OK, a very interesting unit and one that we've just done some work with uh, South Wales University with on that one. Then in year two, you will go on to security, crime and its effects, behaviour, international institutions, war and conflict and again, some adventurous activities. Uh, last year for adventurous activities, we went up to uh, the Bear Grylls uh, activity place up in Birmingham and we did some swimming with, I think we were snorkeling with sharks and we also did the Ninja Warrior course um, and then uh, 
it all sounds like fun, but obviously there is some written work to go with it. You would then review that kind of thing. Okay, some useful information. So general info, um, the course is full time. Um, but it's only about 13 hours. So we try and condense that as much as possible into a short week because we appreciate that a lot of our students are coming in from um, Mir, Gill, Shaftesbury, that kind of thing. So we try to condense the timetable to make sure that you're in college for full days rather than a bit here and a bit there. So we will, uh, as I say, we'll give you timetables when you start. This year we are pretty much over about two, two and a half days. Um, and also we have some different academies that I'll talk about in a minute that you can always do uh, in your gaps. So we have a football academy, futsal, we have rugby, we have netball, all of those kind of things. Um, or you can just study at college um, and just get your work done. More work you do at college, less you've got to do at home. So director self-study is where we uh, give you tasks. You will be what we call an autonomous learner. Uh, so we will give you lectures, we'll give you information, but it's up to you then to go and study and do your research and complete your assignments. Uh, this course is all assignment based. There are no exams in this course on either level two or three all assignments and you will be expected to be in college for that 13 hours and also do about the same out of college. So in a normal world, you could go and sit in our library, the LRC with some headphones on and, and go and learn in there and do some work. Um, at the moment, we're having to use our classrooms for that. And that's absolutely fine. Some people work great at home. Some people prefer to come into college entirely up to you. Um, and we will help you organize yourself and make sure that you are ready to uh, participate in direct self-study. Online learning, we've done a lot of that this year um, and it's worked brilliantly. Uh, we found our feet in the summer with our current students and I must admit we've all learnt and embraced the technology that we now have um, and like I say we, we're doing a mixture, we're kind of listening to what the students want. They like face-to-face -face, so we do as much face-to-face -face, but we do like some of the online uh, opportunities so we uh, integrate that as well. Study days and tutorials. So you will have study days in your programme. So it may well be that Thursday and Friday are study days. And those days are for you to go and complete work, for you to work on um, the assignments that you've got due in. And uh, again, like I say, you can either be in college or you can do that from home. Not a problem. Entry requirements we've already spoken about for our level two and three. I'm just going to whiz through these ones. Uh, so the equipment we'd like to uh, make sure you have. Files, notebook and pens, pretty much a given. Um, you are more than welcome to bring in a laptop, tablet, keyboard, whatever. You don't have to take written notes. If you're better on a laptop, then you are more than welcome to bring your laptop into every lesson and take your notes on your laptop. Um, not a problem at all. Um, Walk-in stuff. We do have a selection of kit at college, but it's always better for these certain things to have yourself. You really don't want to really borrow some walking boots. Um, so walking boots, just get the best you can afford. They need to be uh, ankle supports so and not shoes, walking boots. Uh, the best you can afford, really. Um, I invested, I bought a cheap pair when I first started on this course 10 years ago, um, and they they just were awful. I had blisters and leaked and everything. So I bought myself a decent pair and they've lasted me about nine years. Same with a sleeping bag. Just get what you can afford. Um, we do have rucksacks. We do have sleeping bags. But again, that's probably something you want yourself. Uh, waterproof is essential. We go to Wales a lot. Uh, we go to Sprecon and we go to Snowdonia and waterproofs are pretty essential. Um, so you will need those kind of things. What can I do after the course? You can go from a level two to level three. Um, you can go on to our new course uh, that we've just brought in at Salisbury. It's been running at Chippenham for some while. It's a university level course. So should you not want to go to university or play, pay the price or the, the, the high costs of university, you can do your degree with us. So at the moment, uh, our level four or five is crime and criminal justice. And then we are looking to do a top up here. Um, so you can do a top up year with us and then you will have a full degree for about half the price. So university courses are about nine and nine thousand a year. Ours are about, I think it's four and a half, five. I'd need to check, but it's around about that. So it's about half. Um, and obviously you can stay at home if you want or you can move into halls. So we do have that full level program right the way up to degree level. Um, and uh, we've just started at Salisbury, like I say, and we've our students uh, are getting on really well. It's a fantastic course and I'm absolutely loving teaching on it. So it's a really good opportunity. Like I said, level three will give you UCAS points and we will help with that. But we will also take you to lots of places um, that you might want to consider in terms of a career within the public service. Uh, and I'll run through that in a second. There are some additional course costs that we ask you for. 
this is for all the trips. As I'm sure you, you've you probably seen, we do lots and lots of trips and visits. Uh, we will not pester you for any more money. Once you've paid that money and you can pay it installments, if you're on a low income household, you can get a bursary for it. And that's something if you want to ask me later by email, I can, I can let you know the details. That will cover everything. We will not pester you for any more. It will also cover our uniform. Uh, the uniform we wear is a polo shirt and hoodie. Uh, students can wear what they want um, at the bottom as long as, as I say, no bellies, bits, bums and boobs. Um, so as long as it's smart, you know, clean jeans, track, whatever you want. Um, at the moment, the students have navy and the staff have green. Uh, it has the logo and it has the course on the back. And it's just nice for us all to be in that uniformed look. It's casual, more for the student kind of they voted us what they wanted, but it does actually give us that nice corporate look. Um, so, like I say, if you are interested in bursary information, then please let me know later. OK, I'm going to whiz through these now. So tutor, you will have a tutor when you come to us, a bit like um, your form tutor who will look after welfare, give you information each week. We do have accommodation and that is mainly for our university uh, students and have to be 18 above. Uniform we've spoken about. College facilities, as you've probably seen those of you that live in Salisbury, um, and I know Lackham as well, we've got some amazing building work going on. Um, Salisbury is going to be unbelievable. Um, I mean, I went to the college back in the 80s and this new refurb is, is just looking fantastic. So uh, our classrooms won't be affected. Uh, we won't be in the new bill for classrooms um, because we are on the side that looks down onto the dual carriageway. However, we will obviously have new cafes and lecture theatres and all of that um, and it's really coming on a speed now so hopefully that will be ready soon so we will have some amazing facilities at Salisbury, Lackham the same we've got lots going on at Lackham, um, Trowbridge has had some work as well and obviously we've got a brand new campus at Chippenham so very fortunate that our buildings are um, really really uh, coming up to speed which is fantastic. Entry requirements we've spoken about, enrichment is a bit like after school clubs so you can participate. Like I say, we've got various sports academies. We've got Futsal Academy. We have netball. We have all of those types of things uh, that are available to you as a student. Uh, student support. Again, we've got a full range of support at college for whatever your needs might be, whether that be emotional support, academic support, anything like that. Um, and your first point of contact will be your tutor or myself uh, or Matt, one of the other teachers on the team. Uh, progress and careers, we will help you from start to finish. We get lots of visits from our ex-students who are in the Army, Navy. We have a wonderful wall of fame in our corridor that our students send us pictures in their uniforms when they move into UPS careers or they go off to university. Um, and we've got students in every single uniform public service. Um, so, and this year we got our first Royal Marine. Um, so really really proud of him and hopefully I'll have some pictures I can put onto our Facebook uh, page soon so you can see him but we're very proud of him. Uh, there will be parents evening report. sorry about that guys but it has to happen uh, when you're near two if you're doing level three. If you tell us when you turn 18 you do not want us to contact parents then we have to respect your wishes. Um, up until now in 10 years nobody's ever said no um, because it's nice that we can keep in touch. Um, and if we have any parents that are listening in, I keep in regular contact with parents because I feel it's really, really important that we have that, that triangle of support. So you will get regular emails from Matt and myself just telling you what's going on, letting you know uh, what we've been up to and that kind of thing. But we also update our Facebook page very regularly. Um, I'm probably better with the Facebook page than I am the Instagram, but we do have pages for both. So again, I will always try and repeat things on there. Tuition fees, like I say, it's just some additional course fees. We've talked about that. Work experience is compulsory. Um, we uh, have different various programmes uh, in relation to work experience. And at the moment, um, what we've what we've historically done is gone out with the British Army for a week in uh, May, June. And we've spent a week out with camouflage faces and crawling around in the bushes. And that has been classed as our work experience. However, we're now moving forward and looking at other options. Um, again, with the with the COVID climate, we're having to kind of um, be creative. Um, but if you have any ideas of work experience that you would like, or if you've got any family within the public services that might be able to sort something for you, just give us a shout. That would be fantastic. Uh, we always like uh, having family involved and um, anyone that's in the services coming in to talk to us. Attendance. We do expect uh, we have high standards on our course and I make no apologies for that. 
um, the nature of the beast, we are trying to give you the background to go into a public service. Um, so, you know, you can't be late for duty if you're, if you're a police officer or if you're in the military. So attendance for us is very important. Punctuality is very important. Appearance and attitude is very important. Um, and like I say, we make no apologies for being quite strict on that. Um, and we will make sure that's enforced throughout your time at college, although it will be fun. Um, this is our new uh, kind of mantra, uh, no limits, aim higher. And all of these things we kind of incorporate into our teaching uh, just to make sure that you get that rounded experience. Um, tutor I've already spoken about. We have a safeguarding team at college because obviously your safety is paramount. We are regularly trained and updated um, and our tutorial team will obviously lead anything that is, is needed in terms of pastoral care. Um, but obviously we are a point of contact as well. Um, you will have one to ones, you'll have group tutorials and that will be once a week. And that will be within your uh, timetable. At the moment that is being run online, um, but who knows next year. Tutorial events, we have sport activators at college that will uh, that are arranging things like archery, Zumba, badminton, gym, dodgeball, football. If you are coming onto campus at Salisbury, you will get a membership of Five Rivers Leisure Centre. I'm sure those of you in Salisbury will know where that is um, because we do a lot of our practicals down at Five Rivers. We do have a gym at college. Um, upon our floor and it's a nice little gym. We also have lots of other sport testing facilities. Um, however, we do give you uh, that membership down at Five Rivers. So you will get to use the facilities down there for some of your units that, um, that Matt does with you. Okay, trips and visits. This is always the uh, the best one. I think most students say this is why they come to us um, because we are pretty good on our trips and visits um, and the opportunities that we give our students. So London residential, that's generally for our level threes. Um, we try and uh, incorporate that with our government policies unit. So a trip to parliament. Um, and we also look in terms of crimes, we might take them up to the law courts, that kind of thing. Uh, last year we went up and as you can see on the left, we went on the London Eye. Um, and did various other bits. We go camping a lot. Again, um, the skills that you learn on all of these trips, it's not just a jolly, um, there's very much transferable skills. And like I say, when you get back to college, there's usually a piece of written work that follows it up, a review or an assessment of what happened or that kind of thing. Uh, we will do university visits. We have a great careers team who arrange various university visits to us and to them throughout the year. And we will make sure that is on the agenda. Uh, we do lots of adventurous trips, as I've already mentioned. We go to court quite a lot because I feel that's really important for the criminal, uh, the criminology units, um, because seeing things live like that is, is really interesting to go and see. And it kind of puts meat, meat on the bones, really. So as soon as every time we can, we get out and have a look around. CCTV and security offices as part of the second year's units, prison visits, vocational trips. Everybody sits the Royal Navy entrance test. Um, the Navy come in in the January, everyone sits it because they all need to get used to uh, the types of tests that the public services use for entry. If that, um, if you fill in the entrance test and you pass, it stays on record. Um, so you've got that one thing there ready for when you leave us. If you don't pass, it gets uh, binned because you're only allowed a couple of chances in, in the real world. So it's, it's a great opportunity for our students and everyone sits it, whether they're interested in the Navy or not, because it's good practice for the psychometric tests that um, all the services run now. Police right training, that's one of the favourites of the students. We go up to Bristol and we throw things at the police and they chase us and we chase them. But again, the learning experience from that in terms of leadership, command and control, teamwork, uh, the role of the police is, is just a fantastic opportunity um, that we give the students. Um, the next one as well, NARU, National Ambulance Resilience, that's another great one. We go out to Winterbourne Gunner near Salisbury and Trowbridge and Chippenham usually come down as well and Lackham. And we uh, go out there and they have a complete site that has a bus, a, a proper train, uh, bikes, overturned cars, all of that kind of thing in a major incident scenario. And it's the NARU, so it's some ambulance crew that are training for the NARU squad, which go out and deal with sort of the big emergencies. It's their training, so it's just their last final exercise, and we help them with that. So um, a great opportunity for the students, and they love that. We do that two or three times a year as much as possible. Okay, I'm going to just not well on this one because we're running out of time and I'm conscious that there might be some questions. If you do have a question, feel free to, to put it in the chat right now and then I can grab that and, and fill you in before we uh, run out of time. Um, so this is what we require. 
okay, uh, timekeeping, work ethic, commitment, um, all of those things, um, and a sense of humour. Okay, we, we talk about lots of um, dark things on the course with criminology and all that kind of thing. Sense of humour is essential. Um, college expectations. This is our uh, A, B, C, D of um, college expectations. I'm not going to read them. I'm sure you can see them. All of these pictures are taken from last year. So we've got some Brecon, us out on a river this time last year on a um, very large um, surfboardy type thing. Um, then we've got police right training over on the left. Uh, then at the top is our visit to London uh, with the poppies there. So that's uh, quite a few of our visits. Uh, we are all DV trained. Uh, we have taken on uh, DV in the last couple of years, and at Salisbury, we're very fortunate. We've got Matt, who's our lead for the Duke of Edinburgh scheme, and then we have Baz, who's second from left on the picture, up in uh, Trowbridge. Then we've got Ian and Sue. Sue's on the far end, and then Lee, uh, Ian is third in from the left. Uh, they are up in uh, Lackham. So we're very fortunate that we can offer this to our students. And uh, we've got quite a few this year that have signed up. And like I say, Matt has um, taken on that mantle. And if that is something that you are interested, please email through and then I can pass you on to Matt and he can give you any information that you need. Uh, but we're really proud of this, that we can offer this as an additional. Some of you may have found us already on Facebook and on Instagram. We do regularly update our Facebook page. And if you if you haven't found us, go and find us because that's where I put all of our photographs and you can see exactly what we do. There are some pictures of some lessons. There's all sorts in there. So go and have a look, um, follow us. And again, you can ask us any questions on there, but it just gives you a flavour of exactly um, what we get up to. Um, and as I say, it will always be it's updated virtually every day. OK, right. That is a massive whistle stop tour because I'm conscious of the time. Um, does anybody have any questions? Um, I'm not expecting you to stick your hand up or to shout out, um, but if you've got anything that you'd like to ask over in the chat pod, then please type it in now. Like I say, if you don't want to and you want to email me, our email address is on the screen at the moment, services at wiltshire.ac.uk. I will be, I have to do a criminology talk now at 11. Um, so if that's another course that you might be interested, the criminology and law that we offer, then please come back in and join me at 11. Um, if you have any questions or if you want any more information, uh, then please do email uh, the address there and I will pick it up as soon as that second webinar is finished. I am hoping that when the COVID restrictions uh, or the COVID restrictions are lifted, that I can offer some visits to the campus, uh, whether that be Salisbury, Trowbridge, Chippenham or Lackham, that we can show you around and just see where you will be studying um, and just to meet the staff. But at the moment, we're a bit restricted. But as soon as I can offer that, I will be posting that on our Facebook page. And hopefully um, when we um, get the interviews arranged, because at the moment we're trying to work out what's best for you in terms of interview, whether you want to be phoned or whether uh, on Teams or whatever. Um, but you will get uh, some notification in the next couple of weeks about an interview. Um, but it would just be myself and Matt and we'll give you a shout and we can talk through any issues that you have. Um, I have no questions coming through, which is fantastic. So either that means I've bored you all to sleep or you I've covered everything that you need to know. I'm hoping it's the latter. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um, like I say, if you've got any questions, please do come over to email and email me on public services at wiltshire.ac.uk. Um, I'm going to end our webinar now and thank you very much for attending I really hope to see you all soon um, if you haven't applied already I would get an application in fairly soon Salisbury uh, at the moment has quite a few applications um, I think you know um, it's going to be a bumper year this year so please do get an application in um, if you then change your mind that's fine you can apply to as many colleges as many courses as you want to you do not have to check to, to make your final decision until September OK, and as I say, if I can be of any more assistance, please do let me know. Thank you so much for your time. Bye bye.